So today I'm going to speak about uh, uh, flamingo. It's a bird. So Stephen, can I have the Roni? Can I have the picture? Okay, so I think everyone are familiar with this bird. It is called flamingo. Now I'll share with you some interesting uh, characteristics of this flamingo, and uh, also at the last I would I would relate it to Jesus or Bible characters or even about parenting. So I was inspired by it. Uh, generally, I used to think every time when they give a uh, feature talk, what am I supposed to speak? What what? But this time, in instantaneously, I had uh, this topic in my head called flamingo because it inspired me a lot. So in flamingos, if you see, basically uh, they have four four species of them or uh, four sub uh, categories of them, but uh, they they further divide it into six. We can see the greater flamingo, the lesser flamingo, James flamingo, Chilean flamingo, uh, Andean flamingo, and the American flamingo. So basically, we see uh, the brightest or the reddest color ones are called the Caribbean flamingo. Um, they have a very red in color uh, and one interesting fact about this uh, flamingo is while they are born they are not they feed through their beak so if you see the beak is very very important for them to eat to supply the nutrients to their body without the beak they'll die but if you see while they are born as a chick they don't have now if you see about the beak no it is very interesting it's not a straight beak it's like a hook type uh, so what happens to this beak is they and they feed uh, opposite way. Now we don't stand opposite and eat, right? We stand straight or we sit straight and eat. But if you look at this flamingo, they go down. They put their beaks inside the water, and they have a nostril which is up up above the water, and they feed. So they so if you see uh, the chicks now. Uh, so so if you see the bill is the key to parenting strategy um, now like i told you this flamingo what what they do is they put their beaks inside the water and they feed they eat on crustaceans basically they eat this algae this small small shrimps uh, so what they do is for the chicks they can't feed now the chick is supposed to survive now how it survives it has a very very beautiful strategy both you know the male flamingo and the female flamingo they feed this chick with a certain kind of milk okay so it's a pseudo name for that milk is called f called as f rose uh, uh, roni can you show that picture what what do you understand by this do you think it is harming the chick or is it causing damage to the other if you all are thinking like that it's not damaging or harming the other bird it's basically what it does is it has a upper digestive uh, digestive tract uh, so from that it excretes a digestive gland or we can in simple we can tell uh, milk what it does is it feeds the chick which has the same amount of fat protein as milk and also it has red and white blood cells so this happens i don't know how it does generally only the female lays the eggs but even the male what it does is um, even it secretes that milk it seems so for how long it secretes it's for six months and this is very very important for the chicks now there is a lot of sacrifice also that is involved while it while it does the feeding now flamingos are not born with this red color like i told you it feeds on the algae and um, the shrimps which gives it the pigment it gives that pigment whatever if so there is one flamingo species of flamingo which eats the blue fish and the algae which it gives a blue color i'll show uh, stephen can you show that roni now it inherits the color of it it's inheriting the properties of what it eats so we can see one more property w what it eats it's reflecting it out so the beautiful color is basically it's it what it eats mm. like i told you uh and the best part is once that uh, the mother it tends closely both the father as well as the mother it tends to the chick only for 5 days it will be uh stick and like how it is it will be glued or it will be very close to the chick only for 5 days 
now here is one more interesting fact so after 5 days what happens so what it does is it leaves uh, the chicks with the other flamingo chicks of a lower category i'll break it down even more simpler now what we do kids go uh, the little older kids go to ki kindergarten the smaller kids go to uh, what is a powerpoint uh, or uh, pre nursery whatever they do right for the kids they teach songs and the adults are but so so you all understood right there is a segregation of the kids youth and well as so similarly what this bird does is uh first five days it will be with the chick after uh, after few after after five days it will send the chicks to a a bigger group small a little smaller group and after three months it sends to a other bigger group and uh, now all the flamingos are the same but you know the beautiful uh, distinguishing character what we can see here is the nature of god or uh, uh, it the mother or the father it recognizes its chick by among the hundreds or thousands of chicks it uh, it identifies its own chick with the help of the sound it makes and uh, how this adult feeds is it uh, it feeds basically now the water water is very scarce but a uh, beautiful character what we see in this flamingo is even i i read that even if the water is in the boiling point like say 100 degrees it has the ability it will walk in this boiling water and it will it will also filter the salty water now if you see if we drink salty water what what happens is our stomach lining is flushed out in our excreta system okay but the beautiful thing about uh, flamingo is it drinks the salty water now it can't no animal or anyone can't drink salty water what but what it does is it filters uh, through its beak the nostril it filters out the salt and it just gives the good water for the body of the flamingo and uh, now we saw we saw something very interesting facts about like some some important things about flamingo so i will just uh, share with you all some interesting facts about flamingo uh so the egg the flamingo lays only one egg okay one or at worst case scenario it might lay two eggs and at times the egg yolk is also pink it seems um and uh, if you see look at the flamingo no generally it's walking i don't have a sitting or standing flamingo it generally stands on one leg and it sleeps it, and it sleeps by putting its head on the back of its body uh but it's a history and mystery we must ask the flamingo only why you stand on one leg so it's just a mystery we don't know why is that and uh, the main pigment what gives it the pink color to its body it's called uh, beta carotene even you find uh, in carrots the moment if you eat too much carrot they tell even we turn out to be a little bit of orangish color i don't know how far that's true i don't i've not eaten so much carrots but uh, that's the main reason so one interesting fact is it doesn't has mammary glands so mammary glands is basically a uh, woman produces or any animal uh, female uh, animal it produces to feed the uh, the younger one of uh, you know so it doesn't has this, it doesn't has a mammary gland but it produces milk through the digestive tract so if you look at the diet what this this flamingo eat it mainly eats uh, crustaceans and algae crustaceans while well, i mean you can keep it as small all these orthopods like shrimps uh, yeah crabs lobsters these are called crustaceans uh, which are these have these are rich in uh, carotenoids this pigment gives flaming the hot pink or the reddish uh, coloration now if you look at the flamingo it can fly at a height about 10 to 15000 feet and uh, its speed it, it it has a speed of uh, 50 to 60 km per hour, uh, per hour and generally they are not they say it's not a migratory bird but if it migrates it's only because of uh, the climate and breeding season and uh, they have one distinct distincting character the distincting character what if you see is um, they live in colonies now if you see like other birds they are not a bird who stay in isolation so they live in thousands uh, and it's believed to serve mainly three purpose one is to avoid predators now if it is an individual thing we can we even if it's an individual person if you want to fight him we will be a little bold but if it's a group of person we are scared 
ayo you you'll think like how am i supposed to go against a group of people so this flamingo have this thing and also to maximize the food intake they are in the groups and uh, and they say that using uh, suitable nesting sites for more efficient it seems the nesting sites are more efficient so we saw these things of uh, a flamingo bird which i spoke which was about my nature talk now what inspired me to talk about this was i could see some bible or some christian like characters out of this bird or even uh, uh jesus characters characteristics in this bird now first thing what i told you is uh, it 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 lives in a group of thousands together we could see even uh, thousands of people ga- coming to jesus to listen to his word so where there is no one supreme leader but we can see that uh, it, it is in a lo- larger groups and we can see christ character is now while christ was born he was healthy until the age of 33 he was very healthy but at the, the end result we could see was he was beaten and he was bone and skin yeah there is basically a sacrifice the similar kind of sacrifice we can see in this flamingo now just by being giving its milk we don't see it as a sacrifice but the important thing is while it gives out the milk it is giving it loses out the pink or the bluish color why because it is giving something of its nutrients to its chick so similarly we could see that even jesus uh it says that while we gave all the hard things and the bitter things before he could die he took the bitter uh, wine or the bitter juice but what he gave out he gave out his blood so that the whole of mankind world could be saved uh, and uh, we could see one more thing is they are very they are not aggressive they are very loving animals so basically they they don't have any defense mechanism is what i learned so even if you could see jesus he had all the power of the whole world he told if i tell once a millions of angel will come to tend me but he showed his loving character um so uh, so like that we could see all and we could see that it's very important to nurture to your kids we see we can see a lot of important parenting parenting in the sense how uh, not only from very young age it is very important for us to leave our children with the right kind of a uh, crowd or a group or say to tell in more simple terms the camps or whatever these segregation we do youth children why they learn something out of it we saw this flamingo also they learn something while they are af- until 5 days they are with their parents afterwards with a certain kind of group and later with the other bigger kind of group so it is very important we can learn over here uh, so we can't leave our kids after certain uh, age or after certain months it is very important until uh, they are completely independent we nurture them with the right kind of age group uh, or the right kind of children and the right kind of youth it's very important uh, so this was all about the flamingo i hope uh, we had something to learn out of it and it was interesting